All right, good evening. All right, we're going to start kind of early. I told him I want to start down being 6.58, so here we go. Uh, this is the high school jazz band. We just restarted the jazz band this year after a couple years off. Very excited to get this group going again. They came back for the first time at the uh, spaghetti, or yeah, we did spaghetti feed this year, uh, in December. Uh, this semester we've been working one day a week at 7 a.m. Uh, sometimes I have all of them. Sometimes I have about half of them, depending on what's going on. So it's been a fun adventure to get this group going again, and uh, we'll build it a lot in the future, I know. And they're doing a really nice job, though. So we're going to start out with three songs for you tonight. We're just going to play them down. The first one, entitled Charlie the Cat. I'll read the story here in a second. Uh, the second selection is going to be Bottom Line Blues. And the third selection is going to be Play That Funky Music, and you might recognize that one, some of you. Uh, there are some soloists on these tunes, too, that I want to make sure I recognize. On Charlie the Cat, we'll have a short solo from Megan Althaus on saxophone, Alexis Tira on saxophone, not French horn, saxophone, tenor sax. Uh, there will be a short solo from Nick Bendix on trumpet, and a short one from Luke Johnson on trombone. They're about four measures long. On Bottom Line Blues, we're going to be doing three soloists, uh, Alexis Tira on saxophone, myself on trumpet, and then uh, we'll have Abby Reyes, or uh, Abby, right, sorry, <laughs> starts with the on. Abby Wright on trombone, if you want a solo too. So here it is, the MHS Jazz Band.
a couple of years ago, actually quite a few years ago. Uh, welcome ladies and gents, it's good having you. Uh, we have a couple of songs for you, we'll see you if you like them. Um, the one coming up is actually a song about community and community building. And uh, the main emphasis is on the text, so hope you get to share a little bit of that. Here is Reconcile.
Like I usually say, they're grateful people. <laughs> All right, this one coming up, it's actually a more reflective one. It's a little bit more, I don't want to say sad, it just sort of makes you think, right? Okay? It's a standard of the choral repertoire uh, by Cornell, who's like a famous, pretty famous composer. So we'll see what.
here's a good way to start learning. Thank you.
fire song. It was good at districts, but holy holy.
such thing as a former member of the choir. Thank you guys.
guy has literally altered um, the fine arts program for us. He has done so much for us. He has given us so many opportunities. And we could not be more grateful for him. Um, Minden, the Minden Fine Arts Program and Vocal Program would not be what it is today without Mr. Minden. So please give it up for Mr. Minden.
Thank you for your patience tonight, guys. We'll get going as soon as we can. We're going to clear the stage quick. So if you need to use the restroom, stand up, walk for a little bit. That'd be great. I know you don't.
folks. So Yep. Yep. So excited. Yeah, really so excited. When you moved out. Sometime probably. All right, we're going to quickly go through our awards and everything, and then we'll get through our songs quickly and get you out of here. Uh, we knew it would be a little bit longer of a concert, but these kids have worked on so much over this semester and this year, uh, we wanted to make sure we displayed everything um, that they've been working on. And holy moly, the choirs were fantastic tonight. Another round of applause for them. So, I do want to thank every member of the band for their dedication this year. Uh, they've worked so hard continuing to build up our band program since I came here last year. Uh, and it shows based on the performances they've had. It's just been incredible. If you haven't you know, been around our band and been around what we've done this year, it's just been absolutely incredible. Uh, we reintroduced our color guard and our jazz band this year. As you saw earlier, if you're here for the beginning of the concert, uh, you saw the jazz band. They were awesome. Um, that same color guard that we restarted this year already earned a superior rating at state, which is just incredible. First year back. Um, 
<laughs> also the Mighty Mighty Whippet Band, uh, was able to earn their first superior rating at state marching contest since 2009. The concert band, I'm going to run through these DMC results really quick too. The concert band also earned all superior ratings from the judges this year. Last week? Two weeks ago? Last week, right? I don't even remember. But they earned a superior rating from all, all three judges, earning them a, a plaque too. So that was fantastic. Yeah, awesome. about the first time in four years that that has happened. So, our music are playing is getting better, our marching skills are, are greatly improved, and, but most importantly to me, um, they've worked hard to be, become better people, better teammates for each other, and I'm super proud of that, about that. So, um, I'm gonna give out some awards tonight. Most of these people went above and beyond the typical expectations of band uh, throughout the whole year. Uh, maybe they came into practice more, attended honor bands, performed at small groups uh, at DMC, or helped out with something outside of class. Uh, it's just been an awesome year, so I want to recognize the people. Uh, and Megan, you can go ahead and come up if you haven't. We're going to do senior stuff here in a second. A uh, really quick rundown of our DMC, District Music Contest. Concert band obviously got a one. Addison Brown got a one on her flute solo. Uh, Ailey Porter got a one on her flute solo. Alexis Jira got a one on her horn solo. Evan Porter got a one on his snare drum solo. Our percussion ensemble uh, earned a one. Abby Wright and Rebecca Limka earned a one on their duet and a perfect score on that, by the way. Uh, Meredith Johnson and Benazith uh, Alakran earned a two on their duet, and Britta Beals and Aubrey Beals uh, earned a two on their duet also. So, round of applause for our DMC people. My right, next thing, if you would please come up, seniors, and please come stand in the front up here. Come on up, seniors. We're going to recognize our seniors really quick. We have eight of them, plus an honorary one from last semester, but we already gave him his stuff. Thank you for being here tonight, Douglas. Uh, our seniors this year are Nick Bendix, Evan Porter, Brenda Buells, Alex Boudreau, Jordan Love, Caden Clark, Alexis Jira, and Sarah Shirley. If you are a parent of one of these, would you please stand and be recognized also? where we give our seniors a little gift and they get a, a beautiful, warm, fuzzy blanket with their name on it. And uh, so we're going to hand those out to them. And these are provided from the Band Boosters. They put these together and get these embroidered and get these ready to go. So thank you, Band Boosters. And thank you, seniors. Whether you've been here the full eight years for the Men and Whippet Band, or if you've been in another band, or you uh, left for a year and came back, we appreciate everything you guys have done, and we cannot thank you enough for helping to build this band back up uh, and grow for the future. So, thank you, seniors. Okay, really quick, I'm going to read off our letter winners for this year. We had a bunch of them. These are people who. Uh, you know, did the typical band stuff, but maybe they went to an honor band or they uh, performed a small group at DMC or something like that too. Uh, so letter winners, just stand when I say your name. I don't have the certificate certificates yet, but you'll get them later. Letter winners are Benazit Alarcon, Megan Althaus, Kira Antillian, uh, Alessandra Bonzoff, Diaz, Nick Bendix, Alex Boudreau, Kate Boudreau, Addison Brown, Aubrey Buells, Brenna Buells, Caden Clark, Dawson Conyers, Carmen Gramke, Luke Gromes, Luke Johnson, Meredith Johnson, McKenna Coe, uh, Larissa LeBenz, Rebecca Limka, Jordan Luff, Malia Milroy, Haley Porter, Evan Porter, Abby Wright, Jack Scheibel, Sarah Shirley, McKenna Starkey, Alexa Stira, Cheyenne Ball, and Katie Ball. So, round of applause for these guys. it's because they went to an honor band and they got some extra points and they earned some extra points from doing a small group or something like that. So, now for the bigger ones. Uh, oh, one last one. This hasn't come out yet, but our uh, NSAA Academic All-State recipient this year is going to be Nick Bendix. <laughs> above a certain 
GPA, and uh, he is our recipient for BAM this year. So thank you, Nick. All right, so our other awards, really quick. I've got a, a handful, and I'm just going to have all of you guys after this stay up here uh, just for a second, okay? My first awards that I'm going to give out are my leaps and bounds. These are students that have made significant progress in marching, playing, leadership skills, whatever it is, but they've kind of gone the extra mile this year and done some extra stuff to get better. Uh, Hannah, our first recipient. Yeah, you can go ahead and talk. Yeah, come here. Our other recipients are Meredith Johnson, <laughs> Megan Althaus. She came back this year. I'm really proud of the progress she's made. And uh, the last one is Jordan Luff. Jordan also came back this year and learned a new instrument for the band to help us out a lot, which has been fantastic. Uh, all right, the next group, so we're going to have you guys stand up here too, so maybe scoot down a little bit. Uh, outstanding ninth, ninth grade band member. She went to a lot of honor bands. She stepped up a lot, and man, she's grown. It's been awesome. She had a fantastic duet at BMC. Uh, outstanding ninth grade band member this year is Abby Wright. Great band member. She decided, I convinced her to do bass for jazz band this year. Uh, she had a phenomenal solo at DMC. Uh, also did some honor bands. This is going to Addison Brown. <laughs> Outstanding junior 11th grade band member. Uh, she had a phenomenal solo. She's done some incredible things for our band and just she's a, a stable member that is there for a lot of things and does a lot for us. Uh, this is going to Ailey Porter. Okay, this is a new one this year. We reinstated our color guard, so uh, this is an award I'm going to give out to an outstanding color guard. So this is the color guard member of the year, and this one goes to somebody who uh, jumped in to lead the, the color guard, uh, worked really hard to learn the routines and teach the other people, and this is going to Alexis Tira. The John Philip Souza Award is the highest award that can be given out to a high school band member, uh, essentially the pinnacle of achievement in high school band. Uh, this was introduced in 1955 and was named after uh, the March King. If you've never heard of John Philip Souza, you've probably never heard of Concert March before. Uh, so th there are a few individuals I could have given this award to. Uh, there's some phenomenal members, some phenomenal seniors. I typically give it to a senior who's just done a fantastic job. Uh, this this individual is going into music education in his future. Uh, we've got two of them actually going into music education. Alexis Tier is also going into music ed next year, which is awesome. Uh, he stepped up to be a co-drum major this year. Uh, he's been helping me a little, a little bit with fifth grade band, and he's just been hovering around me a lot this year. Uh, whether I like it or not, he's been around. Some days, maybe not. No. Um, this is the pinnacle of uh, band awards, and this year's recipient is well deserving, and this is going to Evan Porter. All right, we're going to do some pictures later after the concert. Okay, pictures after the concert. Don't leave. All right, we have five songs for it. All right, we have five selections for you tonight. Um, as you can see, I, the award I just gave out, he's going to be our conductor for our first piece. I told him since he's going to be a music educator, hopefully in the future, uh, he's going to learn to conduct a piece. I will also have Alexis here. She's going to conduct on our middle school concert next week. But uh, Evan, this is a, a Spanish march we did for our uh, BMC. So he's going to come and perform that, and I'm going to go play percussion. So here is Escapada. Thank you. 
our second selection tonight for you uh, is entitled Drums of Rwanda. Dr Rwanda is a country in the middle of Africa. Uh, this is based around the, that country's national anthem. Uh, so you hear a little bit of Afri African drumming in the back. Uh, I also really quickly want to recognize we have two individuals helping us out who might look a little older than high schoolers. Uh, <laughs> we were a little short-handed because of some family circumstances. So we, ha we have uh, Ryan Gertrude and Doug Althaus filling in for us in the percussion section tonight.
so this piece is a little strange compared to the other ones we have played. Uh, it's entitled Nevermore. So if you've ever heard of Edgar Allan Poe, this is actually based off of the poem The Raven, which talks about a man's descent into madness. Uh, so we, we thought the red lights were fitting tonight for this piece. Um, it is an interesting piece. It may unsettle you a little bit at times, uh, but here is Nevermore. Thank you. 
guys for coming out. Uh, we have one left for you. Uh, this is titled Beyond the Light and Darkness. Uh, the program notes say, Life is a journey. As we live, we experience many hopes and disappointments. Uh, liken this to light and darkness. So we hope you enjoyed our concert tonight. Thank you again for coming out. Here is Beyond the Light and Darkness.
the board, you'll see your picture like on the stairwell. Yeah, I'm going to comment really quickly. And then I need to see these all the Okay, nice job. Thank you.